Hello there, my name is Kuma, and today we are having a close look at you official. We need to start this one with the right expectations. You official is an April Fool's operator, which by itself isn't that big of a deal, but she also is a one star operator. And what we know from one stars does apply to her as well. She has the longer deploy time, most of what she can do comes from her talent, and of course, anyone wanting to play the meta has absolutely no reason whatsoever to think about one stars. But that doesn't mean we can't have a look at what this girl is capable of. After all, you could even say she's an honorary member of Team Rainbow. But we'll get there. Because first, I need to talk about her April Fool's event. It won't take long, but I have to talk about it. Because it was way more than I expected. The minigame itself isn't that big of a deal. You deploy her, take some photos, watch the funny stream with a weirdly realistic chat, and gets one of the 7 endings. I hope there wasn't more than 7, because I tried really hard to get all of them, and I did not check online to see if there was any more than 7. But those endings, they are all massive disasters. Even when you official manages to find herself streaming in money, she somehow puts herself at the bottom of the barrel. She even beats her last fan on camera by accident in one of the endings. This girl never wins. And when talking to my good friend Ruby about these endings, he brought to my attention that it sounded like a different game he had seen before, called Needy Streamer Overload, which I promptly played through. This is a game about managing the life of a streamer, but it gets really dark, in as many ways as you can think of. It's not a game for people who don't have a strong mind, but I can't help but see how much your official's event looks like this game. Even if the endings don't go as far, the sentiment is the same. And I kinda appreciate that. But now, let's go back to Arknights and talk businesses. What can you official do besides look pretty in the operator page for free? Well first, she is a bard. But unlike other bards, you official doesn't have a skill, so she is incapable of giving attack buffs. It's quite a difficult thing to accept, since the bard trait doesn't allow bards to buff the attack stat of each other. So it's almost a given that bards will have an attack buff. But almost doesn't mean anything. The only guarantee is the HP regen that is written on the trait. And I will take this regen seriously. I have here on screen the regen per second for each bard in the game so far. And of course, perfumer as well. I am a big fan of regen and I play with Perfumer all the time. But of course, not even this we can expect much from a 1 star. While Perfumer can fully heal Vulcan in 80 seconds, a character who can't be healed but in which Regen works, Sora or Skadi Alter can do the same in 50 seconds and Heidi can do it in 40 seconds, you official will take 5 whole minutes to do the same. That is mostly thanks to their skills, but also to their higher stats compared to you official. She only has 122 attack after all. To put into perspective how little you official can heal, look at Matterhorn. This man has a regen skill in his S1 which never gets seriously used, because the numbers in it are a joke, and his S2 is actually really good. But we are looking at S1 for this comparison. He can heal 40 HP per second during his skill. And when considering the downtime, the total amount Matterhorn heals per second is still higher than you official. 18 for Matterhorn and 12 for you official. But if we want to give the girl a win, we can, as long as we consider that Matterhorn throws away a big chunk of his healing. Since he gains max HP during the skill, he actually has less healing by the end of it. Under this stretched assumption, that will make sense only if Matterhorn doesn't take damage during his skill duration, you official wins. 12 HP per second for her, and 11 HP per second for Matterhorn. Hey, I told you, no high expectations for our streamer girl. But now that we talked about her class and trait, we can finally get to what one stars are actually known for, their talent. 
I used one stars a lot in my first year playing Arcanites. Castle can buff melee ops, Lancet can panic heal everyone deployed, Term can explode himself and leave the enemies with fragile. Now we have a couple more. Freestone gives operators around him damage reduction. Justice lowers the aggro and ranged ops and applies fragile on flying enemies. The Palicles do the Palicle thing and fling random stuff at the enemies. And now, we have you official. She can stun everyone around her. Every single one of these talents is very low impact. They don't really do anything if you have a full squad. Even Justice's or Returns Fragile can be easily replaced by a fully built operator. But that doesn't mean we can't have fun with them. When I play without thinking, found yourself desperate and needs a few seconds for a skill to come back up? Deploy you official. Hates vanguards, but the map is opening too fast, and you decided today was the day you would stop using other chip to deploy classes? Deploy you official. When I cancel a big boss attack only once? Assuming he can be stunned, of course. Deploy you official. But only after you get used to the timing, please. <laughs> of course, as I said in the beginning, there is nothing she can do that will be truly impactful. But if you are here, you probably understand that that's not the point of an op like her. And looking on the bright side, you can use your official as a stun extension for Ash, because as we all know, Ash can't quite finish her clip with her own stun duration. That counts for making your official into a rainbow operator, right? But in case that's not enough for you, you can also compare your official to a very old device we have in the game, an old friend we see all the time, but we kinda forget about him. The stun device we all love from 1.7. It's in other stages and tutorials as well, but this is the one we all probably use it the most. This is a one-time use, 7 second stun with just enough damage to not kill the 1.7's lugs. It's very close to you, official. She just trades the meaningless damage for an extra half second of stun, and she can be brought to any stage in the game, all on top of costing less DP to activate. But she will mostly be a one-time use as well, because of the long one-star redeploy time. And even when using the redeploy device that you can find in very specific events or integrated strategies, she will still take 40 seconds to redeploy. Not great, but that's just how 1 stars work. Of course, you have to keep in mind that your official will stun not only the enemies, but your own ops as well. It's usually not a big deal if you're just trying to give a melee op a briefer, but if you want to give a ranged op some extra time to deal damage, they won't be able to if they get stunned by her deploy. But this is not all for your official. There is still a little bit more technology going on with this girl. The first line of her talent reads less likely to be attacked. This is a permanent aggro decrease. It's like whispering after her module, and this can be a nuisance if you forget about it. But it's also there to help her activate her talent successfully. Although your official has no defensive stats whatsoever, only 505 HP and 28 defense, who knows? Maybe you like to sacrifice pink-haired girls to high-threat ranged enemies. But if that is the case, you will have to remember the aggro decrease. Otherwise, she won't die to full map ranged snipers. But she will die to normal snipers, as long as she is the only one inside their range. If all you want is to activate her stun, she does take a little bit of time between being deployed and actually doing it. And she can die before the stun comes out. So let me just reinforce this one. You official will die to literally anything capable of hitting ranged. By the way, she's also really good at building up a clue bomb to send to your friends. You just need to max her level and unlock it. And now, all that is left is for you to play around with this pink ball of one star goodness and have fun with some goofiness every now and then. You can leave me a like if you enjoyed the review or a comment if you have anything to say. As for me, this was Kuma, and I hope everyone has a very nice day. Peace out.